Nosh in the building. What's going on, man? I'm doing very good, brother. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So, um, let's let's get a little bit about yourself, right quick. Uh, how how long you been? Uh, how long you been? How long you been trucking? Uh, about four and a half years right now. Okay. Okay. What made What made you get into What made you get into it? Well, I spent about eight years in the United States Army. I was a field artillery sergeant, and then I spent two years um, working for a company called Strategic Operations. Mm -hmm. I was doing military training for the armed forces, and my body was starting to break down on me. And the job was too manual, so I got into truck and started a new career. And I started it four and a half years ago. Okay, so what? So being so, you decided instead of doing the instead of doing the twenty and out, you just went on ahead and did the did the eight and out. So you still get that good that that good free uh, veteran hospital medical. <laughs> I mean, it ain't free. You gotta break your back for it, but yeah. <laughs> My man said, it "Ain't free." I got you. I got you. Um, it ain't free. <laughs> you say definitely ain't free. <laughs> all right, all right, um, all right. So let's let's get into it, man. So one of my subscribers kind of kind of pinned the video, and uh, it was from VL uh, VL Trucking Fraud page or something like that. And in and in the video yeah. in in the video. If I can, you know, maybe you can help me understand it. But in the video, the young lady made a call to uh, several, you know, trucking companies or several broker trucker trucking companies uh, that that VL did some delivery with. And they gave her one uh, freight fee. And on the paperwork, it was a different freight fee so uh, help help me understand help me understand that what what was going what's you know he said that this is like uh like two or five hundred so who's first thing first who's the person in the video that was that was making the call uh that's my wife um Sasha, she's my wife, and um, she was confirming with the broker as to how much VL Trucking booked the freight for. Right. Because uh, my agreement with VL Trucking was you, they take a 20% off the freight, and they let me run under their MC, and I use their dispatching service. Okay. So if they book the load for a dollar, they take their 20 cents and give me the rest. Okay, okay. So... So your so your so your wife is the one that books the load or that books the load CPA and everything. You the truck driver that does everything, but you're so are you an owner operator that's leased on with VL Trucking or are are you uh are you lease leasing through VL Trucking? One of their trucks. No, I had my own equip. I had my own equipment. I leased it onto VL Trucking, and they were dispatching me. Mm -hmm. And I was using their MC and their dispatching services. Okay, 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 okay. So when did you when when did you come to find out that the that the money was kind of yin yang, and what, and you decided to have your wife to go ahead and start calling to verify the 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 fee amount. So what had happened was that about three weeks ago, um, I, have a, I have a driver driving that truck. Mm -hmm. So I'm an owner. I'm not an operator. I don't drive it. I don't drive that specific um, truck. Um, the, the driver's pay is 30%. Right. Whatever I give, whatever the book, the lowest book for, I give him 30%. The dispatcher accidentally sent him two rate cards, sent him the original one. Okay. And the, the driver texted me and said, hey, the, the, the dispatcher sent me a rate con for $6,000, and I have the text message. And the dispatcher saying, oh, this is the rate con we sent to the broker. And I'm thinking, that's not how it works. Okay. The broker gives the rate con to the dispatcher. Right. So once the red flag went off, then I started following it. Okay, okay. So somebody at VL Trucking messed up pretty much. 
Yeah, he screwed up hard. <laughs> okay, so how, how long how, how long have you been driving? Well, like you, how long have you been leased on to VL Trucking? Because you say you got you you got a, you got your driver that drives your truck, but you yourself as the company is leased on to VL Trucking, right? Yeah, so I started there three years ago. I spent one year as the company driver with them, and mm -hmm. then the second year, the second year, I bought my own truck. I drove it for a while, and then I brought a a, a driver to drive the truck under VL's motor carrier. Okay, okay, okay. So, so two years I've been doing it. Yeah. So when when did you now that you now that you found out that VL trucking is kind of like like cooking the books, sort of say when, again? When did you actually? You you've been with them for like three years, but when did you actually find out that they was cooking the books? Five weeks ago. So you know, initially I thought they were just you know, initially I thought they were just shrewd business people. Right. I thought blatantly stealing was was beneath them, but I was wrong. So you they were blatantly stealing. They're booking the loan. Yeah. So you so you so in other words, they was doing everything up under the table. Without you even knowing it, until they made that fatal mistake that day. Yes, sir. So this is so you you figured that they owe you money for for like two maybe two and a half years, right? Of course, of course. Wow. What? So when you found out and you had your wife to start, you know, going back over, uh, going back over everything. Uh, what did you do? Did did you did you call them up and say, "Hey, uh, this ain't right"? What what was what was their response to you finding out everything? You know what? Um, I've worked with them for so long that that I kind of approach it a little differently because I know them, mm -hmm. right? So what I did was I first I just sent a text message. I sent the week's rate confirmation. And I said, I want to see the factoring paperwork for these, right? Right. That's all I said. I said, so here's the paycheck for the week. Let me see the factoring. I want to see how much you factor these loads with the bank. Okay. Right. And then they said, oh, the text message they sent back was, oh, okay, no problem. Give me a few seconds. Right. And then I sent them the first video. And once they figured out that I'm on to them, and I, you know, I did, that, I did my homework before I even confronted them, so it was night and day. Wow. Wow. It was night and day. Wow. And I'll upload, I'll upload a text message of all these back and forth. I mean, because they're thinking I'm just coming at them like, oh, I just want to see it, you know, because blah, blah, blah. They didn't think I sat there for 100 hours, did my research, counted every penny, and then called them. You know, these are extraordinary claims, but I have extraordinary evidence, so they can't say a word to me. Right. Wow. So, are, so the short end of it, are, are, are you still... Are you still driving for a VL trucking? Oh, God, no. God, no. The <laughs> second I saw a dollar missing, I was out. <laughs> There's more trucking companies in Chicago than there are people. Anybody stupid enough to, like, do business with these specific group of people, I just don't know what to say to them. God help them. Wow. Okay, so. God help I them. mean, we, we got. Now, listen, listen, listen here, man. I mean. I, you know, thank you for coming on and you know it's exposing this. You you really didn't have to, but y you know you 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 got so many so so many of these YouTubers that's coming on here that saying VL trucking is the best thing since sliced bread, bro. Like you know you got you you got one YouTuber on here that got you know that got like a fleet of trucks. And you know he claims that he's doing very well with with them. Uh, then you got another YouTuber that's you know a, a couple of YouTubers that says that you know that they doing that that they doing big money big money moves with uh, with VL trucking too. But you know this is something this is something for you you know this is something for you that. That happened that you that you didn't even know that was going on until they actually made that fatal mistake. What do you say? What, yep. what do you what do you say? What do you say to people that's now watching their videos thinking VL trucking is the best thing to do versus watching your videos, letting you letting you let I mean you telling them that 
VL is like skimming off the top, and, and I got proof. I mean, the proof is right in front of everybody. You can take it any way you want. But VL Trucking has a business model that preys on people who have no clue what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Or have bad credit. I mean, the people that are leasing on, it's like you bought a used truck for $100,000. You could have just went to Ritchie Brothers right down the street, bought the exact same truck, financed it for $35,000. But because you have no clue what you're doing, and that guy that's robbing you is telling you you got a great deal, you're just believing it. And they're very personable people. Mm -hmm. I mean, to a degree, I mean, they ripped me off for two, three years. Right. And, you know, it, it just took one day to figure it out. And I, my wife's a CPA here. And all my friends are successful, accomplished business people. And I got ripped off. So, I mean, these people are easy victims for them. Easy prey. Wow. So, yo, so now that, now that you know, now, now that you're not, not with them, but you just going over, uh, you, you just having your wife. I'm, I'm assuming she did it already. Y'all just have to. Y'all just haven't released all the videos. Y'all probably just doing it one at a time. But, um, I mean, w was your wife actually shocked at the amount of money that, that they were skimming off the top? Because I, I think the one video, uh, what was that, Landstar? It was supposed to be like $3,000, but I, I think the lady said something like $3,000 in the, in the bill said, uh, 2700 Yeah, we were, we were shocked at the amount of money they were stealing. I, I mean, the freight market's on fire. We were literally living in the best freight market probably in American history. And you know what? They're still, they stole $5,000 just that first week. Actually, $5,200 just that first week. I mean, they were stealing about fifteen to $25,000 a month. And this is not just me. This is every single owner-operator that signed out to VL Trucking. Every single one of them is getting ripped off, and it's, I don't know what to tell them. I have the evidence right in front of them. Call the boss up and say, let me see the, uh, let me see the rate card, let me see the factoring paper, and I guarantee you don't get it. So let me, they're ripping you so, off. So this is, this is not, this is not, this is like owner operators with their trucks signed on to VL Trucking and not the, not the, the so-called fleet owners that's, that's getting, that's leasing their trucks through VL Trucking, not not them, right? Uh, no, no, they're getting ripped off too, brother. Every uh -oh. single person that's there is getting ripped off. All the all the uh, if you if you're leasing it from them, I mean, you got a crappy deal to begin with at the door, right? Right, and then they're they're taking money off the top and pocketing that money, and you're fixing their truck and putting a, a driver in their truck, and they're just sitting there ripping you off left and right. They give you just enough to survive, and that's it. You're not making any money. I mean, anybody that wants to sit here and tell me they're making this much and that much, I have two CPAs sitting right here. We'll go through your books in two seconds and figure it out. Yeah, because like I said, you know, the YouTubers that's 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 saying that, you know, VL Trucking is 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 a good bet. They're the ones that saying that they, you know, that they actually are are doing good. You know, they 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 got like three. You know, they got least. They they're. they're I, I, I'm not sure how. For some odd reason, I I just I, I I never understood how that works because the, when I when I came across it the first time, uh, it was it was a YouTuber by the name of uh, Junior uh, Honduras. I never could pronounce his name right, but he came on. He did a he did a you know he did a video that he was hiring drivers uh, to drive his trucks, but he he uh, leased his trucks through Prime. And you have to be a prime driver in order to uh, in order to drive his trucks. And I'm I'm over here like, OK, you know, I'm trying to understand why do I got to work for why do I got to work for prime if the trucks are yours? So, you know, I started asking questions and that's when everybody was telling me, like, well, yeah, you can you can be a fleet owner within the company by leasing their trucks and i was like what well, ain't that kind of ain't that kind of like going backwards <laughs> well, the, way, the way that works is very simple mm -hmm. so what you're essentially doing you can have your own motor carrier and dispatch yourself and be the, be the uh, you know be the ceo of your own company or um 
if, if you're working with a very honest company, you can actually sign on one truck. If you have one truck, you sign on to a motor carrier. It's actually, the, the numbers are in your favor if they're honest and they're not stealing from you. Okay. So what they're doing is they're taking multiple units, they're signing it on to VL Trucking, or in some of the YouTubers' case, they're, they're leasing from VL and they're signing it on to them. Now, all this YouTube shenanigans you see on there, this is basically just to get referrals. They get a, they get a percentage of bringing people over. Right. This has nothing to do with the reality. You bring a driver over, you get 1% of his pay for as long as he's there. Okay. So, so okay, so how, you know, I, I, I wanted to reach out because I, I did make the call video to VL Trucking. Um another youtuber you know i had a, i had conversations with uh various youtubers that drove that drive and drove for the company but the the main youtuber that i really want to talk to i haven't even you know i haven't got a hold of him yet but you know but just watching his videos i'm i'm still trying to understand how are you making money if you leasing you know three or four trucks from VL Trucking because I'm I'm over here thinking like, don't you you got to pay for the trucks every week, right? So if yep, if you yep, got yep. like if you got like three you know three trucks and you paying X amount of dollars per truck, you know how how are you making how are you making money because you got to pay the trucks you got to pay the drivers you got to and and all of this is coming straight through VL Trucking like. Everything is through VL trucking. It's, it, it, just, it just looks like once you leave VL trucking, that's it for you. You're, you're, not, a, you're not a fleet owner. You're like, you, you, you back at ground zero. So You're absolutely right, and that's how they have you. That's why you got to sit there and sing and dance on their, on their command, on their cadence. You know, if you, if you do anything wrong, they'll take their truck and say bye-bye. Okay. And if you, the, the, the contract that these, these guys signed, they're very predatory. Mm. I mean, the owner-operator contracts are very predatory. I had a lawyer go through my contract, and there's nothing on there that says about anything about 20%. Okay. That was the agreement. They did a bait and switch. They, I signed one contract. They emailed me another one. So any owner-operator signed out the VL truck, go read your contract. Where does it say you get 20%? Wow. Where does it say that they take 20% off the top? Where does it say? I challenge anybody to put up a contract that says that. They're not. So you basically signed a contract saying, I will run your freight for you at any price you give it to me for. Wow. So you're getting robbed at the door. I mean, this is premeditated on VL, VL trucking's part. These are very predatory contracts, and they do this because most truck drivers do not read. <laughs> we, yo, y'all, yo, yo, before y'all signs, love, everything, not, all, not everything that glimmers is gold. You know, they, they, it's like, it's, it's like how they, it's like how they slide it to you. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give you this and your eyes explode because you never, you, you never had nothing like that, you know? And it's like, okay. But then, you know, this, like, this, like you said, you, you've been with them for, you know, three years without even knowing that they was, that they was skimming off the top until one of your, until they messed up. You know, they did that critical mistake with your driver, and that's when it got you like, wait, hold on. Y'all, y'all, this, yep. obviously, this not the first time, and then, you know, you probably had that conversation with your wife, and she's like, look, let me go back over the books and uh, and, and see what's up, and boom, that's when you guys found out that, that, uh, that, uh, that they doing this. Uh, all right, so let me just say let let me just say um, let me just say this: um, the thoughts and views of the guests is not the thoughts and views of uh, Lockout Man Podcast. We can continue on. <laughs> um, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so now that uh, now that you know you and your wife decided to. You know, started started to release these videos. Um, have have you got any have you got any pushback from VL Trucking as far as as far as them trying to you know stop you or or anything like that? You know, 
when I first uploaded the video, I had the comments enabled so people can comment on them. And basically, it was a bunch of Eastern Europeans on there making threats. Oh, you're going to get sued and this and that. I'm thinking, you stole for me. What are you going to sue me for? <laughs> I'm going to upload it and you can do what you want. That's why I disabled the comments and I don't want to hear any comments. I really, I'm, I mean, I have the evidence. I put it up. That's it. Let them do whatever they want. I got you. Because and some, the ball's in my court at this point. Because some people, some people think that being that you disabled the comments is like, you know, you... You know, somebody that want to come in and, you know, say something different, you know, to give their, you know, to get their opinion. But, you know, it's a good thing that you turned it off because, you know, because of the situation that happened to you as far as, you know, people coming in there making threats and all like that. So, yeah, it's better to, yeah, better to cut cut that off at the hilt, <laughs> you know. Um, the, yeah, it was the owners of the old trucking. It was yeah, it was the owners of VL Trucking using fake names on there, They're making threats. Oh, you're going to get sued. We're going to sue the broker. The broker's going to sue you. I'm thinking, you're going to sue the broker because you got caught stealing. You're going to sue me because you got caught stealing. Okay, sue away. So, so this is this is from a number. So this is from a number of carriers that uh, you know. I think Landstar was 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 the video. Whoops. What 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 are the what what are what are other carriers that that you guys found that you know that they were skimming off the top? What what other carriers if you want to name them? No, brother, these are brokers. So VO Trucking goes through these brokers. They book the loads through these brokers. The brokers are innocent. I mean, they're booking the loads through VO Trucking. VO Trucking right. is turning around, photoshopping the rate confirmation, telling the driver this is how much we got it for, mm -hmm. and they're pocketing the difference. So the, the brokers are the innocent party here. The, the truck driver is the innocent party. The only crook is the one that's of you. Okay, okay. But, no, what I was saying is, like, you know, one of them was, uh, was Landstar, right, that, that the brokers bro uh, brokered a load from Landstar? Yeah, they, they, they got the load from Landstar. Landstar gave him a little load. I forget the amount. It's on there. The video's on there. They sat there, they photoshopped it, took a couple of grand off the top, right? And then they told me, oh, that's how much you got the load for, minus 20%. What was the, what was the other what, what was the other carriers that they brokered through? Like, you know, that's what I was trying to... Every single one, brother. Every single one. Coyote, it was Landstar, pretty much every single broker out there that VL Trucking is using, they're photoshopping their information. They're photoshopping the rate cons and pocketing the difference. Oh, okay. And when I when I when I confronted them with this information, they pretty much dismissed me. They, I mean, the biggest insult here was not even the theft. So when I confronted them, I was a gentleman. I was polite. I was well mannered. I was meek. I said, "Look, my money's missing. I got a problem here." Right. And they literally sat there and dismissed me. Like, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> wow. That kind of like that kind of like give you the bold face, like like. Yeah, we know we're doing it. What you going to do about it? <laughs> oh, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well, welcome to my world now. Wow. So, so what's the, so Nash, man, so now that you found out all this all this stuff that's going on over there and you know, you you took the, you know, you took the initiative to get the information out. What are what are you what are you doing to try to recoup all of that if if anything i mean at this point do I, I i first of all i lawsuit still on the table a lawsuit still on the table but i really think vl truck is going to be shut down within six months to a year oh. according to a very valuable source i have still working inside the company right now the they had they had an accident i think it was january of 2020 where three people got killed oh I ain't, ooh, and, wait, and that was, oh, yeah, that's right, that was VL Trucking. I did read up on that. Yeah, according to their source that's currently still working, they're still in that circle. Um, they're being sued for millions upon millions of dollars, and I think with the second that judgment hit, it, game over. <sighs> game over. I mean, that on top of that, the owners of the company even know that. This is one of the reasons they started the other trucking company they have, and they're going to build it up once this one shuts down. They're gonna tell all these YouTubers, "Thank you, have a good day," and they're gonna go build their They're gonna go build their second trucking company. Wow! Now, uh, now, guys, this is all alleged. <laughs> Allegedly, let me go ahead and put that out there, <laughs> so they don't come back and and try to hit me up with anything. But, but, uh, but, wow! This, this sounds like uh, this sounds like another Celia Don Celia 
Celadon. Celadon. God damn, I cannot pronounce that trucking company for the life of me. So this sounds like another Celadon in the works. I mean, look, Celadon is a mega carrier. The, the, the difference between these carriers and mega carriers is very simple. Mega carriers screw you at the door, and you know how you're getting screwed. Mm-hmm. This is a different story. They bait you in with something, and they switch it right, right behind you. Oh, they try so to hit- people are saying Prime is like this, this is like that. I understand that, but they, you have the contract right in front of you in simple English. How much you're taking and how much you're paying. Right. Whereas, whereas this company, they bait you in with 20% and they wind up taking 80% of your freight. Oh, that's nasty right there. And then I saw these YouTubers, because I have actually, I have a, a Google search thing where something comes up for VL truck and it comes up to me. And then the second I made there, I confronted them. I see these guys saying, "Oh, the old truck is not going to show Raycon because because a lot of these drivers are stealing their lanes." And I'm thinking that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But if you're going to believe that, you know, why, well, how is one guy with one or two trucks going to compete with a carrier that has 134 trucks? On top of that, the freight's not there to begin with. Right, because they 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 brokering loads from from other trucking companies. Wow. Yep. All right. All right. Well, uh, huh. VL trucking. <laughs> still in the uh, still in the conversation. Uh, wow. Um, well, Nash. Hey, you know, I, you know. Thank you for coming on. I, you know, I do appreciate you coming on and uh, and 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 sharing your stories and you know your experience with them. Um. Are you so after you decided to leave? Of course, you left. Uh, well, you know, now that you're being a little bit more knowledgeable, uh, of what's going on as far as you know, you know, leasing on with another company, uh, have you leased on with another company or what, 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 where, where are you at right now? Okay, so uh, about a year and a half ago, I started my own MC. I had two trucks with them. Mm-hmm. I brought one over to my MC, and I was going to age my own motor carrier. So I left this one there, and then I just brought the second one to my own motor carrier, and life has never been any better. I mean, God, I know where my money's coming from. I know where it's going. I literally went from breaking out even that truck they had to under my own MC. My, my profit margin went through the roof. Wow. So I'm just running my own MC, doing my own dispatching. You know, no more middlemen involved. So with so so would again with VL trucking you was just you was just breaking even with with even with a yeah, even yeah. with a truck uh with a truck how much you was if I may ask how, how much you was uh how much you was given the how much you was given the driver of the truck I was giving him thirty percent of the freight or whatever the, I booked the load for you get thirty percent of that or VL trucking whatever they whatever they said they booked the load for I give him thirty percent. Okay. Now, whatever they booked the load for, they they take their money out. Then they move that money over to you uh, for moving the load. And then from that money, you give uh, your driver thirty percent of that, and then you just keep the rest. Well, yep, yep. And by you keeping, I mean, I pay for fuel. I pay for insurance. Everything. And yeah. Af- after your expenses and everything, you say you wasn't. You just, so you so throughout the three oh. years. Uh, uh, throughout the three years or two and a half years, you you wasn't making no money with VL trucking. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. That truck was breaking out even. Wow. I have other units. That, yep, I had other units that were making money, and every time I called and said, "Hey, what's going on here?" It was always some brilliant excuse. Always. It was always the most brilliant excuse. The truck is breaking out even. So after I aged my own MC for a year, and then, and then I have the insurance let me bring them more trucks over. First thing I did is, well, then I caught them lying, and I brought my own truck over from there and ran that one under my MC again. Man. Wow. And so I don't know how these guys are making money. I mean, that truck, with the note on the truck was only $2,500 a month. And it was a brand new truck, and it had a full warranty on there, right? So how these guys are paying these guys six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 a week? For these trucks that have three, four, five, six hundred thousand miles on there, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I find it hard to believe. Wow, man. Ooh, 
All right, Nash. Again, I I thank you for uh, coming on and sharing. Uh, what are you, what are you doing, bro? Get back over there. Um, I appreciate you uh, sharing all that. So what's so what this takeaway, man? What's what's your overall uh, what's your overall takeaway of uh, of of VL trucking? What what do you want uh, what do you want everybody to really know about uh, VL trucking? What more is there? They're stealing your money. I mean, if you're happy with that, good luck. Good luck to you, really. I mean, if you're happy with somebody reaching into your pocket and taking bread off your table, you know, good luck to you. I have nothing else to say to you. Mm. Man. Well, all right. So, guys, uh, go to VL. What, what's the What's the YouTube page again? VL Trucking Fraud Report. VL Trucking Fraud Report. Man, that's a, that's an interesting name. <laughs> um, and so far, you you only have three videos up, but you you gonna have uh from from what my YouTuber subscriber tells me, you 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 got a total of of five hundred uh of uh, uh, around five hundred videos. I have five hundred rate con. I have about 500 Raycons, and it's actually very time-consuming, so I'm cracking one or two every couple of days out. But at this point, I've read it's already out there. I mean, I'm just going to sit here and play it by ear, and if they bother me, I'll just upload a couple more videos. Every time they bother me, I'll just upload a couple more videos. Every uh, time I sit there and think about my money, I'm uploading another video. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Have it, have, have it in the background. Have it in the background. All right, brother, man. Well, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, so, in other words, <laughs> <laughs> After all that, finding out that uh, that that companies is uh, is 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 taking money from you, there's no way that you can actually give them a good uh, a, 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 a good referral or anything. You're like cutting that. off. Uh, can you hear me now? No, no, but it's cutting off. It's uh, on your end. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me make sure. Okay. All right, I'm back to five bars. Okay, I I went through a little dead spot. Can you hear me now? Nope. Uh, uh oh. Uh, try it again. Oh, uh, there you okay, go. Hello. Can you hear, you now. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> with that said, man, you, you, you just don't have nothing else good to say about VL trucking, pretty much. I have nothing good to say. You, I really don't. I mean, you sat there, you stole from me, and when I confronted you, you dismissed me. Mm. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> really, I mean, you know, I mean, company. You say get out of here, all. <laughs> Last tire there, five hundred dollars. Tow truck, five hundred dollars. Wow, man, oh man. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, they promised you what, that's sixty-five, seventy cents right now. But at the end of the day, when they take their own money out, every little screw up, you're late, five hundred dollars, this and that. Mm. It comes down to about fifty cents a mile. Uh, so they hit you. You know, I. You know. A, a driver that used to drive for a uh, VL truck and did a video uh, when he, I think something happened and, and VL trucking taxed him around five, six hundred dollars. And he went to question that. And that's when he quit. VL trucking does that kind of stuff. Like if 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 something don't ha if something happens and it's not your fault. They still gonna hit you with 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 a fee of of that amount? It doesn't matter. They'll cut. It. They'll come at you for every penny. They really will. I mean, I, I, have, I have I have as a company driver. When I was a company driver, there you should have seen the way they robbed me, like left and right. I remember the trailer had a scratch on it. They told me, "Oh, the deductible is five thousand dollars for this trailer, so we're gonna take it out of your paycheck." <gasps> so I sat there. They, they took it out of my paycheck. Wait. I took it to the guy. I had a similar stuff. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. It was only a scratch on on what? On the paint job? It had a hole. And it was punctured. It, it was punctured. It was punctured. Where? I mean, what was punctured? The trailer was punctured. The top was punctured. And they said it was a five thousand dollar deductible, and you had to pay for it. Yes, sir. That five thousand dollar deductible, and what what they did? Here's what they did. They, 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 I actually took a picture. I sent it to a couple of repair guys. They said this is a he's a thousand to two thousand dollar job. So they literally sat there pocketed three thousand dollars of my three four thousand dollars of my money. They didn't even report it to the insurance. They went and fixed it themselves. 
Now, if you ask them for a receipt, well, their trailer guy's in on it, so they're going to just hand you a shitty receipt. Wow. And they took all and they took all of this out of your out of your paycheck. As a company driver, as a company driver. Now, mind you, you as a company driver, you're a 1099 company driver, right? Yes. <sighs> wow. I mean, you look at their safety score, they're six. So, uh, if you're driving for them, you're going to get pulled up to every scale house and get harassed. And I was shocked when I started my own MC. I started driving around. I was like, you know, they're not pulling me in. What's wrong? So, I just assumed that everybody gets pulled in. It's like, I'm driving around by the scale house, and the cops there just smiling at me. I was like, oh, my God. Then I looked into it, and man, their score is 99%. Wow. And if you don't know, 100% is a failure. 1% is perfect. Man, that's... Whew, that's crazy. Man. Well, Nosh, man, thank you very much. I, again, I appreciate you coming on and, uh, and sharing all this good information. Um, man, VL Trucking. All right, brother man. Well, um, again, uh, thank you for coming on. I, you know, you're you're a citizen now, so uh, if you'd like to come on again and uh, and uh, chat it up with me, man, let me know, and uh, we'll get in. We'll 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 get it in, man. Thank you so much for having me, brother. I really appreciate your time. Not a problem. I appreciate you, man. You and your wife. Take it easy. Y'all stay safe out there and keep trucking, bro. Keep tracking, brother. Bye-bye. All right.